with the machine. He found all of these rocks in the dirt, including this big one. Chase is trying to get some fill dirt to put in these um, like slopes so that the driveway can be level. There's also some holes in there if you can kind of see. We've had the machine for a couple hours now and we're just getting after it. Uh, we're gonna have a machine for a week so you might get some good footage of clearing that pathway up there, taking all those stumps out. But it's a nice little machine. It can do a lot. We're excited because all of the progress we've made has been, you know, kind of slow. Uh, we've definitely, they've, they've cut down so many trees. But with this machine, I feel like we'll be able to get a lot done in a short amount of time. So we'll keep you guys updated on our progress this week. The further along we get down the, the path and the yurt site, oh, we changed the yurt site too, so we'll show you guys the new view from where the yurt is gonna be. We'll catch up with you later though. Still the first day. Chase is working on a stump right now. And he's been working on it for like 10 minutes. Not sure if it's a sweet gum or if it's just has a long tap root or what, but it's been the hardest stump so far. He's ripped up a couple of the roots, but is holding on for sure. <laughs> and we're right next to the swamp too, so the dirt is so wet and muddy. But we're getting used to the machine, getting pretty comfortable, confident with it. We've flattened out our, those areas over there, opened up the driveway on that side a little bit. So we're still making progress. He's gotten out like a few stumps already, just in like a few minutes, but this one is gonna take a while. Today is Wednesday, so we got the excavator um, on Monday morning. It is, I don't even know what time it is, being in the woods, you do not keep track of time. Um, but we have gone all the way up the... Uh, driveway slash pathway. Um, Boyer had the idea to put down like the old kudzu, the dead kudzu vines and some of these grasses so that it wouldn't be so muddy. So it looks good. There's some guys doing work out on the bridge today. The bridge that goes over the creek. But yeah, we got all of these stumps. I guess I should have walked you through before we did all this work, but I'll walk over to the excavator in a second to show you guys where the where Chase is working right now. But yeah, all of this kind of flattened out the front. Got all these huge stumps out. There was one right here that was like three trees kind of stuck together. Two of them were more stuck and those took quite a bit of time to get out um, but all these trees stumps and then there's our little campsite from last night they've also been collecting um, flat stones for me so I can make a stone pathway right here up to the yurt but there's another big stump that came out Another one, a couple right there. 
But yeah, this thing is, we've used about 10 hours of the 40 hours that we have. And we have until Sunday, they're picking it up Monday morning. And it's gonna be a thunderstorm tomorrow, so we're not gonna be out here. We're gonna take a little rest and then come back Friday morning and get back to work. See all these really dark vines? Those are all kudzu going up the trees and taking over. So Boyer's been taking a little ax or a little uh, machete to the vines so that they die at least the part that's going up the tree dies so that we can pull it down. Here's the open field. That's someone else's land over there. But right in front, open field up here is ours. I think it's about an acre or something. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Huge pine stumps. I don't know what other kind of trees. I think there's a couple. There's a few sweet gums over there. He's really becoming a pro at this little machine, though. Some more stumps and logs. I'll take you over here. Gotta stay out of the way of the machine. Got our little <laughs> couple pieces of firewood stacked up on this. Last time we came in, came out here. They did, they cut down all of these trees and created this pile of nuts. But here's the open field. We decided to move the yurt site. So this is gonna be the old yurt site. Um, but this might be where the septic tank goes now, actually. So he's clearing all the stumps out of there. Oh gosh. And then this is gonna be the new site where Boyer is. See those stumps sticking out? We gotta get rid of those. Woo! Here's a little baby cedar growing. Chase is happy about that. We have a couple little baby cedars on the land. But yeah, this is gonna be where the front of the yard is now. Right here, see those blue flags? You'll probably can only see one. See those blue flags? That's going to be where the deck is. And then this is the new yurt site right here. So, this is facing east. So when the sun comes up, our yurt will be facing it. We can sit out on the deck, watch the sun rise. And this whole field of um, dormant kudzu up until where those trees are, that tree line right there. Um, those trees and then those couple of trees, that's kind of where it cuts off. Where the property line cuts off. And then we have some of the woods over here until the creek. Look at this bright orange. There's so many cool mushrooms, like cool looking fungus. And <laughs> These are some big, bigger pines. We're definitely going to leave these here. I'm hoping that we can leave a whole what line of tree privacy trees on the side. Should be nice. But yeah, we're going to get some more stumps today. Head home tonight. Take a shower. <laughs> and come back out here Friday. And I'll try to keep you guys updated. But it is a night and day difference from... When we first, the first day we came out here and... <laughs> but... I think I will let you guys go. Take some videos later on when all of this stuff is cleared out because there's, they just dropped this tree today with the little buds on it. So we're gonna have to get this out of the way. Maybe I should start cutting these branches. Um, Honestly, I watched you yeah. doing it yesterday. Just Thanks, by you guys, you for. Right in front of your blade, which makes the most sense because then you can just put your I can't right focus in. when yeah, he's talking. So <laughs> Thank you guys for 
staying updated with us and and staying interested in what we're doing and because I know we haven't made a lot of videos in a while but we're getting at it we are planning on having the septic tank in the well in and the foundation built by September and it's March right now so gives us a few months to get everything done I need to like come over and get but, Kind of a, it's hard when all the stumps are close together. But yeah, talk to you guys later. So Chase Boyer and I are out here. It is Sunday. They're picking up the machine tomorrow. We've got done all of this. Look at that massive pile of stumps. I mean, there's some over here and over here too but this pile every time I look at it I'm like oh my gosh overwhelmed we got some logs cut over there for firewood to dry out um but look at this you guys that pine kind of looks like it'd be in the way but there's a big space over there for the yurt I'll walk you through here but yeah, all of this next to this fat pile is going to be the septic tank area. There's a little campsite. We had to move our campsite out of the way to get the excavator down the hill today. Because we finished up this area earlier. But look at this so crazy this big open circle this is gonna be where i'm gonna live by the end of the year this is probably oh man yeah this is probably gonna be like the center of the yurt maybe this little stick is showing where it is i don't know it's probably stuck in the ground yeah but yeah, so, sorry about the wind, but the sky is so beautiful. So yeah, hopefully when it's spring and summer, this little line, a couple of trees will be like a little privacy area. I'm sure the kudzu will grow back up and tuck us away in this circle. But yeah, all of this kind of looked like this. Where I'm standing kind of looked like, you know, a forest. <laughs> And now it's all cleared. We were out here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Found massive rocks. I'm gonna use a lot of these rocks for the footpath. But look at this. This rock is huge. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then Thursday we stayed in Richmond because it was a thunderstorm or a hurricane or some shit. Oh man, the rake's over here. And gloves. And other tools. I'll put them all against this tree. And then Friday morning, or Friday, we came out here. It's Sunday now, so we've gotten in A lot of hours of work. The excavator, I think we've spent about 20 hours on it. So we only took half of the time we needed. I mean, we were given to get everything done. But I don't know about y'all, but I think that this area is going to be big enough for a small septic system. At least I'm hoping because like over there's the yurt and then this open area should be big enough for the septic system. I'm hoping, at least. Maybe the drain field can be like, uh, I don't know. Maybe it could be right here <laughs> on the path. I don't know. But yeah, we found some a lot of big stones so I can use for my walkway under my feet. Um, is it just a huge pile of stones even under those logs and branches is a bunch of stones as well 
they're kind of everywhere all over the property so i'll have plenty to work with and we've been finding a lot as we've been digging little hammock um chase's parents brought some firewood some little pieces like those long pieces and some logs But yeah, my mom came out here and stayed, got this tent set up with a bear mattress in there. So we're living lavish out here in the woods last night and tonight. And then here is the pathway to the road where Boyer's manning the machine. That's going to be kind of where everyone parks. And then we'll walk this whole path to the yurt, which might kind of be a lot, so we'll see how that works. Maybe people could also drive up here in, in case they, because I'll have a lot of stones laid out all through here, so hopefully cars can get up and park near the yurt. In case people are like, F that, I'm not trying to walk this whole path. <laughs> I'm stuck but we're gonna we're behind the machine is all that stuff other than that tree oh, it went out of focus um, we're going to get rid of all that stuff not this big tree and not that tree over there but we're gonna park where the excavator is and then clear all that kudzu and brush and stuff behind him so it's like four something I think so we have a couple more hours of daylight until tomorrow when they pick up the machine. So, oh, cracked it. <laughs> so we're hoping we get all that done and then get the machine closer to the road for them to pick it up in the morning. And they, Chase's parents also brought some diesel so that we could fill the tank because we have to return it filled. But yeah, guys. We got a lot of stuff done this week. I'm so excited. It's been really, really quick. It's been almost unreal how how fast all of this has been done. But yeah. There it is. I'll talk to you guys later. Things gonna catch my heel right there. I know. Oh no! <laughs> I can't even get a good like. Sun's about to go down. Look at this! Oh my gosh! He kept the tree, but this is a big old open space. <laughs> It looks crazy. He's been working on this for a couple hours. This front area. That tree kind of looks funny right in the middle, but that this area might be scrapped, and then this might be the new driveway. And then we could park all through this area to avoid the mud and stuff on the right side and they've been stacking logs and piling up everything on this side so that it kind of helps with the muddiness and fills in those holes but oh my gosh it's cleared so crazy what this little machine can do in a few days walkway it's gonna be kind of a far way to walk all the way up there from right here but it's closer than the road got the rocks delivered but the gravel man gave us some advice that we need to do a lot before we actually 
put the proper driveway in so he drops off over here but this might just be the beginnings of a driveway and now we got to spread it out because he couldn't his truck was too heavy to go back there but still one step complete he gave some good advice about moving all this brush so that the rainwater that comes from the hills over doesn't here fill up and make a pool right here so yeah that was pretty so good open that up we can't we shouldn't create a dam before the creek he also said if his truck pulling 18 tons of gravel can't make it through this a truck pulling a full-size excavator and a septic tank probably can't make it through so there's that we got some more work to do but that work will never end living off grid so Look what we did by hand. We're using this bag to spread out the gravel, which obviously takes some time, but we're getting there. We've how long have we been out here? An hour and a half? Two hours. Two hours. And we're just doing everything with a shovel and a rake, so in this bag. In our strong arms. So it's getting there. Still a pretty fat pile, pretty big pile. Started spraying this side out and then took a bag over there to like fill in a hole. But some progress being made. I'm sure we'll bring some other people out here and get some more rakes to, to level this out. But this is a pretty small Um, rock. So this might be just like the first layer, but I feel like it's definitely better than this mud and dirt situation. Yeah, just keeping you updated on our progress. And we'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone! Stuff's growing in. It's May 25th. So it's very green out here. I think it looks beautiful. But of course, it means the kudzu is soon to attack. <laughs> There's some gravel still up there. Chase brought a weed whacker, that's what it's called, right? Today to get rid of some of this stuff on the path because we are meeting with the county in like 10 minutes to discuss and finalize the approval for building. So here's the septic site again. This is our old little camp area. When we were out here with the excavator. Oh my gosh, this stuff is. I was just here like a week ago and there was a little bit of growth, but gosh dang. <sighs> the kudzu grows so quick. I think that cedar grew some too, if I'm not mistaken. But. So a little more progress today, because once we get approval, approval for building, we can get someone up here to install a septic system and then start to build the foundation. It feels like so far away, but so close. The oh, So many steps have been done to 
really get everything moving and like probably by the end of this year we're gonna be living here I mean so maybe we'll get goats next season or next like after the winter when the kudzu starts growing back in yeah I'm pretty sure we're getting goats because look at this it's not even, it's just growing in, so it's, you know, this field gets covered. I think I already showed you guys this little fire pit we made. But yeah, the kudzu is just <sighs> growing in strong, and we actually were out here and cut a lot of the, um, last week or something, uh, we cut a lot of the, the bulbs out, like the the, mm, the hearts of the kudzu, you know, like where the, like there's one probably right here because there's so many things growing out of one section. But we got some of that out, so hopefully not all of these vines will be so strong, but I don't know. So yeah, that's how it looks in late May. It looks like a beautiful forest fairy land and we'll keep we'll keep updating you guys with with more videos to let you know what's going on and how the building process is going hopefully today we'll get approved so the next step is a septic tank oh my gosh I almost fell <laughs> And this is where that will be. And maybe this could be, you know, because the subject tank, I think, on the top of it, you could just grow whatever the heck. So this could be like a nice little flowery area with a little path right to our yurt. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.